Well, it is. Uh, good morning. This week's video, uh, I'm going to try and explain why it's so difficult to get a slip in uh, La Paz, in Baja California, sir. Uh, before I do that, it's probably worthwhile explaining what used to happen, um, maybe 12 months or two years ago, and how things have changed. Um, the cruising season down here tends to run from oh, late October, after the hurricane season, until about um, mid-December. Um, people like to come into um, the major centres uh, for the Christmas period, uh, and also uh, because of the strong northers that, that blow. Those northers blow till about um, mid late uh, March, early April. Um, so people like to be in marinas when those uh, northers come through because uh, it can get a bit uh, choppy out in the anchorage. And then from late March until about the end of June to mid-July is another cruising um, season where people go up into the Sea of Cortez um, and then want to be back in La Paz uh, for the hurricane season. Uh, put their boat in a slip, uh, some people stay, not that many, during the hurricane season and others fly back to uh, Canada or the US. Um, and that's been the way things have happened for, for many years. So you could um, book a slip uh, from December through to March, um, go out cruising and then come back and book a slip for the hurricane season and do all the normal boat preparation. And that's the way it's been for a, for a long time. Um, that has now changed. Um, and I'll explain the, the reasons why it's become difficult and nearly impossible to get a slip in the past. One of the reasons is each year in November, about 130 to 150 Boats come down on the Baja Haja. It's a cruising rally to bring boats down from San Diego um, down into Mexico. And it's, that's been running for years, and the 100 to 150 boats is, a, is about the figure that's been in place for, for, for many years. About half of those boats um, go over to Banderas Bay, uh, straight from uh, Cabo San Lucas, and spend their uh, that period of um, October through till March uh, in uh, La, La Cruz or Puerto Vallarta because the weather is warmer over there and uh, Bandera Bay is a nice area and they travel further south down to Tenacatita and, and Barra de Navidad. Um, the marinas over there um, have got room. Um, La Cruz gets pretty full. Um, but the anchorage there is not too bad. The other half of the boats come to La Paz because they want to um, go up into the Sea of Cortez um, and uh, before they venture off across the Pacific or simply stay in, in, in La Paz. So you could book those slips as a transient um, whenever you needed them and uh, it was all working fine. However, that is no change. We're still getting the same number of uh, Baja boats coming down, so there's a, a massive influx of boats. The marinas have suffered some damage uh, because of the hurricane this year. Um, Marina de La Paz had a little bit of damage and they're now fully repaired and fully operational. Uh, Costa Baja it's going to take about a year for their slips to um, be reopened in, in some of the areas and um, Marina Cortez which is next to Marina de la Paz suffered a lot of damage and uh, again it's going to, their breakwaters broke down and, and uh, there are still sunk boats in there um, they're saying maybe six to nine months before that gets um, fully operational so there's been a uh, some of the, the slips that were previously available aren't available. Marina Palmera suffered a big fire. Um, there were still sunk boats there. Um, so a few of their slips have, uh, are, are not working anymore. So overall there's uh, been a, a small reduction in, in the number of slips. 
as a result of this, the marinas have more or less all decided that they would prefer long-term cruises. People that take a permanent slip, so you take a slip for a, a year, and today it's the only way of booking a slip. You have to commit to a year. You don't have to pay in advance, uh, but you have to make that, that commitment. Um, the reason for doing it is supply and demand. Um, it's a lot less paperwork for the marinas, um, a lot less traffic in the marinas because there's not so many transient boats coming in and um, the marinas have just decided, hey, it's easier to take long term. So that opportunity of a transient boat booking slips whenever they want is no longer a possibility. Um, the marinas will, if you do book a, a long-term slip and want to go out cruising, um, you can sublet your slip through the marina and they give you 50% um, of the, um, uh, the fee that they then charge to the boat that's coming into your slip. So, but you don't know when people are leaving, so you can't, as a transient, you can't really book the slips, you've just got to turn up and hope that, um, the num that a slip will be available. Um, you may be lucky, you may not. It, it's, um, you know, potluck at the end of the day. Um, the price of the marinas have gone up dramatically uh, over the last few years. And to give you an example, a Milagro is a 42 foot um, Catalina and the slip fee here is 1275 a month, which is a huge amount of money. Uh, but you have no choice. Um, you can't blame the marinas, they operate on the supply and demand. Um, you know, so, and, and there's no, uh, there's a lot of people waiting for slips. Um, as soon as one comes up as a, uh, a sublet, they're taken. So it's, it's proving to be, quite difficult uh, and I can't honestly see the situation changing as long as that Baha -ha sends boats down every year um, this situation is going to continue for, for quite some time if you've got a slip the last thing you want to do is give it up because the chance of getting it back nigh on impossible so um, this is what's causing the, uh, the issue A similar situation occurs over on the mainland in Bandera's Bay. Um, Paradise Village is uh, normally completely booked out. Uh, I'm not sure whether they've gone to long term only. Um, La Cruz in January, February uh, can get full. Um, there is a big anchorage out, up there or down there. and uh, I was there last year and I counted 70 boats out in the anchorage, which is fine. During the mornings and evenings it's pretty calm, uh, but Bandera's Bay is known for uh, the afternoon winds, so it can get a bit lumpy out there. As far as the, uh, the anchorage in um, La, Cru uh, La Paz is concerned, um, I think there are probably 70 boats out there at the moment. I'll uh, show you a bit later in the video. Um, how, how packed the marina is and how packed the anchorage is. Um, but my issue with the, uh, the anchorage is I, I was anchored out there a number of years ago and when those northers blow, they actually blow um, and it gets quite uncomfortable and they come once a week. So uh, it is a bit uh, scary out there at times. Um, I remember when I was out there in the anchorage, it was pitch black at night, I'm a solo sailor, I was going back out in the dinghy, um, I actually had a Hunter 42 so I could get on at the stern and the boat, the dinghy was bouncing around so much and it scared me. Um, if I fell in uh, because of the strong currents here, um, there would be no chance of rescue, you would just uh, get washed out of the, the bay, um, you might hit the sandbank, but um, yeah, it scared the crap out of me and I, I vowed never to anchor there again. Although saying that, there's lots of people anchor there all the time, so uh, 
maybe that's just a personal thing, but it was one of the most dangerous situations I found myself in, uh, you know, after many years of, of cruising. What will it take to make a change? Well, it needs another marina, uh, probably a hundred slip marina. Um, would bring things back to normality. Um, they've been talking about it for years, but um, I doubt that will. Uh, well, it may happen, but um, yeah, <laughs> I don't think so. <coughs> In talking to uh, some of the local people that uh, work on the boats, the, the people that do the stainless and the bottom clean and the engine repairs and just general boat work, um, they're suffering a little bit because you're not getting the transient work. Um, the re marinas are full, um, not a lot of the boats that are here permanent need work done, they've all had it done over the years and a lot of the big local business was generated by new boats coming in and having stainless steel work done, having arches done, having uh, engine repairs or uh, bottom clean. Um, yeah, talking to some of the local um, traders that um, work on these projects, they're saying yeah, they're suffering a little bit and they're not as busy as they anticipated um, and again that's that's unlikely to change. If you want stainless steel work done, you need to be at a dock um, and that's just not, not happening, uh, which is a shame for uh, the local businesses but uh, again, you know, that situation's unlikely to, to change. Let me show you um, how busy the marina is and uh, how busy the, uh, the anchorage is in the next few um, clips. So here's a view of La Paz Marina. As you can see, it's not huge, but it's absolutely packed. And uh, down below here, is the dinghy dock. This is normally more boats in here but uh, it's a nice day so people are staying on their boats out on the anchorage. I'll take the dinghy out and show you the anchorage and show you how many boats are out there. It's amazing. So there's the entrance to the uh, marina. I'm standing the uh, navigation channel uh, which has to be left open and no anchoring but I'll show you the amount of boats Oops. And there's the 360. You can see the state of the current here, it's quite strong. I'm just drifting down. Let's whip back, back round again. As you can see, it's pretty full. There's room for more, but uh, yeah, there's a lot of boats here. How many of these want to come into the marina? I have no idea, but I would bet it's a few. It's quite nice out here, drifting down with the current. Beautiful day, no northers, although there was a big one the last few days. You know, maybe I'll get the fishing rod out, do some drift fishing. So there it is, the reasons why it's difficult to get a slip in La Paz. Too many boats, not enough slips. Anyway, hope you've enjoyed the video and uh, hope it's informative for those that are heading down this way on next year's Baja. Ha -ha. Uh, to see what to expect. Um, the next video I'm going to do is actually uh, all about Marina de la Paz. It is by far the best marina here uh, in terms of facilities and staff friendliness and, and uh, access. Um, really nice so I thought it'd be worthwhile doing a video on that. 
which will uh, come up in a week or so. Anyway, appreciate your time and uh, thanks for watching.